right, thank you, Danielle. Of course, we'll continue to update on that story throughout Good Day Orlando. We had a health alert this morning. Several cases of Legionnaires' disease over this past week, right here in Central Florida. Two LA fitness locations in Orange County and a senior community in Lake County are being investigated as possible sources for the disease. And joining us this morning to discuss more about Legionnaires, how to protect yourself, is Dr. Asim Jani from Orlando Health. Great to see you, Doc. Thank you for nice coming in this you. morning. Sure. Uh, so let's talk first about how you get Legionnaires disease. How does someone contract something like this? Sure. So Legionella or Legionnaires disease is really uh, given the name after uh, an outbreak that occurred in the American Legion Convention about 40 years ago. Um, it's caused by a bacteria that is transmitted via aerosolization of contaminated water. So you really have to breathe in small droplets of the contaminated water. It is found naturally in the environment. And so just finding it in a source of potential water isn't is sufficient enough. You also have to be susceptible for getting the infection in your lungs. And it generally causes a lower respiratory infection, symptoms such as cough, fever, shortness of breath. But sometimes, atypically, you can also get gastrointestinal symptoms. You can get nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or, or even confusion. Uh, in general, the people who get Legionella infection in their lungs uh, and, and, uh, and don't necessarily do well are people who have chronic lung disease or chronic heart disease, diabetes, people who might be smokers or former or current smokers, people who might have had uh, exposure to immune suppressing drugs. Their immune systems is, you know, aren't working well. Right. Okay, so it, it, a lot of times we hear about it coming from an air conditioning unit or from a hot tub, these types That's of, right. or, or maybe a sauna, is that possible? How does it get in there? Is it a cleanliness thing? It, could you get it in your own home even? So that's, those are great questions. It, because I said it's found in the environment, clearly there are natural freshwater reservoirs or man-made reservoirs. A lot of the outbreaks that we see on large scale have happened in places like hotels, resorts, right. uh, cruise ships. Uh, they can even happen in healthcare facilities. I think the most important thing is that individuals who are in charge of those water supplies and caring for them are, uh, you know, exercising their prudence and being vigilant and adhering to standards of sort of that public health officials would require. But also individuals in the public should be aware that if they are knowing about potential exposures to contaminated water that's part of un, un, you know, supervised, then they don't want to be around those types of things. A mist or a vapor of aerosolized uh, contaminated water is the is the main thing. Okay. Could you die from Legionnaires disease? Well, generally, uh, you know, it is a mild, moderate, or severe infection. It ranges, but in, it turns out that there's about 15% of, of people who get hospitalized can die, especially if their immune systems aren't working well. Okay. The most important thing otherwise that people should know is that this is not contagious from person to person. It is something that you get exposed to by being in contact with those aerosolized droplets and you breathe those uh, things in about two or three days to 14 days after exposure if you develop symptoms of cough fever shortness of breath or any of those things that we talked about then it's immediately important to go to your health care provider right. and yeah, especially if you know you've been to this gym you've got to go to the doctor if you well, start feeling if, sick if you're feeling yeah, sick right. right right and and I think it's important to know that 90% of the infections that we see are what we call sporadic mm -hmm. they're not associated with outbreaks of certain uh, contacts and I think the travel histories are important. If you go to the doctor, tell them, you know, what's going on. Unfortunately, we don't have a vaccine, but we do have effective therapies that, uh, that, that are available. And, you know, uh, Legionella isn't drug resistant. Right, right. All right. Well, good to get all the information for anybody who's been to the gym, listen to the doctor. If you start feeling sick, go and see your doc. Great to see you, Dr. Johnny. Thank you so much. From Orlando Health, we appreciate you being with us this Thank morning. Thank you.